Good morning, guys. So I'm here with a word from the Lord. Uh, the message the Lord has given me today is based upon the past couple of days, what's been going on here. Um, a dream that my daughter had last night and then a vision that I had this morning and some things that were occurring this morning. And I just want to touch base on those things with you guys. Um, because it's probably many of you guys who are experiencing this. Um, if you've not experienced it, then, you know, this may not be your message, but you know, you could possibly experience it in the future. So it could be your message, you know, for a later date, or, you know, someone who is experiencing these things. I don't know. Uh, in any case, this is a message the Lord wants me to deliver to you guys. And the, the message is basically called the Lord will fight for you. Um, and that's literally what he will do. Okay. So the night before my, yesterday, my daughter had a dream that I'm not going to talk about, but it was a bad dream. It was not a good dream. And I knew instantly when she came in to wake me up early in the morning, uh, probably the wee hours in the morning, maybe 1 a.m. when she woke me up to tell me about the dream, I knew that it was a witch of somebody who had sent that dream. Um, it was just something I knew within myself. So I got up and I basically started to pray and cover my family and prayed and canceled everything, uh, that whoever these people are, that's doing this, we, we shut it down. Basically. Um, that's what we did. We shut it down. Cause we don't do that here. We, once God shows us something or the devil shows us something, or we're able to see what's happening. We instantly shut it down. So going on into last night, she came in and she woke me up again around the same hour. And she was like, you know, I'm being bothered by the dream I had last night. So I sat up in the bed and I said, you know, this is what we have to do. This is how we handle these types of things. And um, basically strengthen my baby, strengthen her and made her very strong uh, so that she could deal with it too on her own. So we did all of that in praying and everything. And then she went on ahead and went to bed and I went in, I was in my room already. And so I was going to go to bed myself, go back to sleep, but I had a hard time going back to sleep. It was a, it was very difficult going back to sleep. So once I finally dozed off again, there was a spirit that was disturbing me. So now, um, let me tell you guys, okay? I think I might have already told you guys. You might already know this about me, but I know that I'm called into healing and deliverance, which is why I experience certain things, which is why my children experience certain things, which is why, you know, hey, you, you uh, go through what you are, you're getting trained for the things that God wants you to do. That's the only way I can put it. That's the only way I know how to put it right now. Uh, we're getting trained for whatever God wants us to be at or where he wants us to go. So I wouldn't be able to be a very much help to anybody had I not experienced some of these things, even though there, some of these things are happening at the hands of some evil men and women out there. And I know this already. Uh, I wouldn't be equipped to deal with lots of other things or things to come if I had not experienced some of these things is what I'm saying. So anywho, I continue to be disturbed by this spirit for a little bit, but every time this spirit would bother me in these wee hours of the morning, I got up and I had a word for it. I had a word for it and a strong word. And a strong word. It was almost like, uh, and it's been happening a lot. It's been happening a lot. It used to, it used to be a hard thing for me, uh, when these demonic spirits and this stuff would show up for me to know how to really shut them down. And quickly, it was like, it was hard. Now it's getting a little bit easier. It's gotten to be very easy for me now. And I like it that way. You know, I like it that way because, you know, you have that authority that the Lord gave you, um, you have to use it. 
You have to use it and you can't be in fear of these things. You can't be in fear of uh, the things that may go on in the, in the supernatural realm. You can't be in fear of no devil. You know, uh, rather the person is human. You can't be afraid. You can't be afraid of nobody. Put it that way. You can only, you should only be fearing the Lord. That's the only person that you should be fearing. So anywho, this spirit continued on. And then when I woke up again, because it was back to back. But when I woke up the last, the very last time I opened my eyes and it's dark in my room and I just see a vision of a man and the man looks like he's scared out of his mind. Y'all, let me tell you something. When I tell you, when I tell you, I woke up and I saw this man and he looked at me and I said, the blood of Jesus, you're going to get out of my house right now. Whoever sent you, and I'm not going to say what I said, but as I was speaking, this man's face looked like, it was just like, I, I can't even, y'all, I can't even express what it looked like. He freaked out. He was like, oh my gosh, how does this girl, how does this girl know to do this? That's the face expression that this person had. Like, how do you know how, how do you know what you're doing? How do you know we're doing this? How do you know uh, what to say? How do you know this? And I said what I needed to say. And he just backed up, backed up slowly and disappeared. Y'all listen, <laughs> if I'm lying or flying, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. These people that are these witches and warlocks that are sending these things to us, y'all got to learn how to do effective spiritual warfare. You got to learn how to do it. And see, this is why I don't have time in my life. This is why uh, I don't entertain certain things any longer. It's a, the stuff that's for the people in the streets, for the people in the streets. I'm, I'm not in the streets on that level. So if I'm going to go to the streets, it's going to be to cast out some demons, uh, set some people free do the Lord's work, but I'm not going into the streets for a bunch of foolishness. I'm not going in the streets for gossip. I'm not going in the streets for, um, uh, a bunch of retarded stuff. Do you feel what I'm saying? And this is the reason why I can't give my time to that kind of stuff. I can't give my mind to stuff that will take my focus off of the real stuff that's going on. It's a lot of fake stuff going on to keep us away from the real things that are happening. And that's why, you know, you got to be sober. You got to be diligent. You got to be in everything you do. Be sober minded. Be awake spiritually. Because it's a lot of foolishness that's going Even Even with all the different things that we have going on in our world, we still have people who have this, um, the mind of a first grader. They can't, it's like they can't, they can't, they don't have that understanding of what times we're living in. They don't have it. And so we have to be, we, we're the ones that have the minds. We know what's going on, what's happening. Uh, and so we don't give ourselves into foolish conversations. We don't give ourselves into stuff because we know it's a real war going out, going on out here. It's a real spiritual war going on out here. And so we don't have time to get off task. Uh, so now God, the Lord gave me two scriptures. I'm going to go ahead and read these scriptures to you. The first one can be found in Exodus, uh, 14, uh, and it starts at verse 13. And I am also reading from the amplified version. And this reads, Moses told the people, fear not, stand still, firm, confident, undismayed and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians you, you have seen today, you shall never see again. Verse 14, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace and remain at rest. So that there should tell you if God is fighting for you, all you have to do is hold your peace remain in a state of rest so you do what you're supposed to do uh you don't allow for these spirits to just come up in your house and run the show you don't allow for people to astro project into your home disturb your children disturb you uh mess with your rest 
and think they're going to get away with it. You don't allow these spirits to do this. Okay, you don't allow. So people know what they're doing. That's what I'm hearing God saying. Woo, Jesus. I feel them too. People know what they're doing, okay? If they're out here casting spells, sending demonic spirits, sending demonic dreams, sending things to harm and hurt people. These people are aware of what they're doing. They know what they're doing, okay? They're, they're not some, they're, they, they don't play a role like they're innocent and they don't know what they're doing. Casting spells on people, these people know. They know what they're doing and so they in trouble with God. They in trouble with God because some of these people, you know, you got some people, they're going to repent and they're going to get a clue. They're going to say, you know, I don't think I want to play with God like that. I value my life. Uh, I want to live a little longer and I don't know how much long I got, but the little bit of life I got, I want to live it out in peace. I want to live it out in freedom and I want to live it out, you know, doing what God has called me to do. Some people get it, but then you have those people who are hell bent on destroying anything that God's name is on. Oh yes, they are. And you know why they're that way? Because they're demonically, um, they got spirits on them. They have these demon spirits on them, okay? Uh, they're demonic individuals. And when people have these types of demons on them, um, that's all they know to do. From sun up to sundown is how can they destroy another person's life? Because they're demon possessed. That's, the, that's all that they can do. So for us, because we are those chosen people that are able to see what's going on and know what's going on. We got an advantage. We got an advantage because God has called us to fight uh, the kingdom of darkness. He has called us to pull people out of hell. He has caused us to push back darkness. He has caused, he has called us to do certain things and we have an advantage. And now I understand a great deal as to why God had to remove a lot of people or everybody. They, let me tell you something. God was not playing. I can't, you can't do what God needs for you to do with, with uh, all these uh, Bob Joes and, and uh, Sandras and all these people in your life. You can't do it. Impossible. Not, not with the type of stuff he wants some of us to do. Impossible. You can't have these people around you. You can't have a bunch of uh, uh, low-level spiritual people around you. You can't. How are you going to fight demons and fight certain situations with a bunch of low level type of people around you that have a mindset of grass and trash. You can't do it like that. God going to need us to be where we got to be. So sometimes you're going to have to, or really you're going to have to let go of people. You have to let go of people who, who don't have the mindset that you have. They don't think the way that you think. Uh, it's sad to say, but sometimes you do, you have to. You have to, in order to continue to graduate from level to level, you have to let these people fall by the wayside. They got to go. They got to go into a later date or no date. They just got to go because it's too serious what's happening out here. You got people's lives that are at stake. You got people wrestling and fighting with things. You got people going through things and you can't be what God needs for you to be and go where he needs for you to go with all these low life people of, of, of the wrong mindsets being around you. You don't need that. I'm hearing the Lord say, can it get rid of some of these people? They're not gonna, they're not gonna help you. They're not going to help you. A lot of these people got demons and some of them don't want you to help them. Some of them don't want you to cast them demons out of them. And they're going to try to keep you uh, hidden and behind the scenes because, you know, their demons don't want to come out of them. So that's what it is. Um, some of us been too nice to some of these people. Uh, we've been extremely nice to people and we're the ones they carry God's glory. We're the ones that are carrying the anointing and we're downplaying ourselves while these same, very same people are stealing from us and sending demonic spirits and stuff our way. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? So, you know, focus on what God gave you to do. Focus on the mission God put you on this earth to do. Focus on the spiritual fight that God got you in and why he got you there. He obviously got you there because he know he knew that you was going to be the one that could do certain things that others either they were not prepared to do or they got too many ties to the world to do it. And we know that when people are too tied to the world, they can't do what God tell them to do. 
It's impossible. They're not going to be able to fully say, thus says the Lord, stop this, do this. They're not going to be able to do it. Okay, so the second scripture the Lord gave me could be found in Psalms 44 and verse 5. Again, in the Amplified Version. Hmm. Though you shall, no, through you shall we push down our enemies. Through your name shall we tread them under who rise up against us. So it's through Jesus, through Jesus' name that we should push back our enemies and tread them under. Okay. Uh, that rise up against us. So we got to know it's, it's, it's the Lord that's training us. It's the Lord that's fighting for us. Demons don't fear our name. They don't fear us. We're nobody to demons. They fear the name of Jesus Christ. That's what they fear. They fear when you realize you have authority to uh, take them down. That's what they fear. They don't fear you per se. They don't got no fear of us. They could care less, but they go fear you when you know who you are in God and when they, when you are understanding of what you carry and your authority and your assignment, then there's a fear that comes over them. And that is why I saw what I saw last night. Now, once I really, it was like a constant thing, a constant thing. The spirit kept on, kept on, kept on. And when he kept on, kept on, guess who else kept on? I kept on with him. I was up to speed with him. Usually a lot of people, you know, when they say, when you wake up in the morning, um, it take you time to get yourself together, get fully going. You might sit on the edge of the bed, you know, maybe you turn your alarm off or you, you set your alarm back five more minutes and you sleep for five more minutes or whatever the case might be. You need a minute to get yourself together. You maybe need some coffee. You maybe need a hot rag on your face. You maybe need a shower, something to wake up. I wasn't in that, uh, position and didn't have that time dealing with these demons. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was an instant reaction, meaning as soon as they came in, boom, I had a word. And then guess what I did after I had the word? I turned over and went back to sleep. Now, ain't that something? I guess they thought, oh, we was going to keep her up last night. And then we was going to give her these dreams and stuff. And then we go, no, honey, you won't go, no, devil, you won't go do that. You won't go do that. And I set the record straight. Woke me up again, bam, had another word. Woke me up again, bam, had another word. Woke me up one more time, and this last time they woke me up, that's when I saw the man leaving back and up like, oh, my God. I could read his thoughts. Like, please don't hurt me. And I had a word. Because before they come in your house and think they're going to run something, you need to be knowing who you are in God. You need to be knowing what type of authority you got. You need to know who fight for you. You need to know your daddy. You need to know him inside and out. So when they come to your house, they recognize this person is a child of God. If we come in here, we come in at our own risk. Mm, that should have been the name of the, hey, I might have to change this message. Enter at your own risk. Y'all, listen. Enter at your own risk. You coming in this uh, child of God's house, you gonna be entering at your own risk. You come in here with your voodoo and your witchcraft and your whatever you conjuring up, enter at your own risk. You fooling up with my family and trying to harm them, you better figure it, at your own risk you enter. At your own risk you enter. Because see, some of us, you better get suited up and booted up. We ain't in those little um, fa-la-la-la times. We not in those, um, those times before where we could be stupid and ignorant out here. We can't do that no more. We don't have time for that anymore. Okay, so for you guys, I pray that this message has helped you uh, understand that, you know, some of us, we just got it. We just got a little bit more. We got to go through. You just have, you just have to, but I recognize a difference from where I am today and how I handle these spirits versus where I was last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. It done changed. 
it done changed a big, I mean, oh my God, I'm shocked myself. But when I say I'm going to sleep, I mean, I'm going to sleep. You're not stealing none of my rest devil. And you're not going to come put something on me either. You're not going to put no curse on me. You're not going to do a thing to me. Because when you come in my way, I'm coming. I'm going to meet you. I'm going to meet you. When you come in here, I'm going to meet you right there. And we're going to have a battle. We're going to battle it out until you gracefully back out and bow down. That's what we're going to do. Woo! Y'all, listen. Y'all better get like that. Y'all better get like that. There's some people out here that need us walking in our authority. They don't need that, that, that other crap. They need us walking in the authority that God gave us so the captives and the people can be set free. So I know I got a little bit hyped, y'all. <laughs> Woo, I wasn't expecting it, but I just pray this message helps somebody out there, you know, be encouraged. You walking with God. You walking with God, and as long as you walking with him and not within your own means and stuff, you walking knowing he's the one that's doing everything, you got the upper hand. You have the upper hand. All right? So, y'all guys, go in, go in power. Go in God today. Be blessed. Um, man, be blessed. All right? Be blessed. Don't, don't be stressed. Be blessed. Okay? Walk in your power. If you struggle, you feel like you, you're not there in uh to this degree yet where you can handle demons and devils and stuff like that. God can get you there. He can get you there. But it's a matter of do you have faith and believe that he can get you there? Ain't no need for you being a child of God, being a scared, uh, scared of no devil. Ain't no need of you being scared of no demon. You're not supposed to be. Woo, Jesus, hallelujah. You're not supposed to be. Take authority over the situation. Get, get where you need to get. Get to God. Do some fasting. Do some praying. Do some reading. Do what you got to do to build yourself up. So that when this stuff happens, you, when this stuff happens, you just wake up and look at the devil like, I know you lying. <laughs> I know you playing tonight. You know, you don't come in here running nothing. I run the show. That's the attitude you need to have. I know you lying today, Mr. Devil. You lying. So, y'all be blessed, okay? And until the next message, please, please, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my page. I am I'm really working to try to grow this audience. And for the, I pray to God that the people that are supposed to find my page, that they will stumble across the right videos. I pray all the time, God, let the right people find me. Let the right people find me. You know, because really this is all about us. We, we, we're, we're waiting on the Lord to return. But as we're waiting, um, we got to be doing what we got to be doing. We can't just be sitting. So we need to have our, our people that are like, we need to find like-minded people. God will, God will bring these people to us, put it that way. He'll bring these people to us. But also people that are in need, i just been praying, God, let these people find my page. Let them find my page, the people that need what I have, what you've given me to give to them. Let them find my page and not all this other crap. All this other mess for me, y'all, is for the birds. I'm too grown around here, and I'm talking about spiritually. I'm talking about spiritually. I ain't talking about nobody looks and all this kind of, you know, whatever. You know, I'm talking about spiritually. We too grown. We too grown. We got work to do for God. We got work to do for the Lord. So let's be about our father's business on the day, y'all. Y'all guys be blessed. And until next time, talk with you then. Bye-bye.